I'm at the Groundswell campus in Invermere, BC, and in this video we're going to talk about the five different ways that we capture, store, and utilize solar energy. The greenhouse is a passive solar greenhouse. We've got solar photovoltaics, solar thermal for collecting solar hot water, and we've got an annualized geosolar array which combined with an earth tube preheats and pre-cools the air in the winter and in the summer. So let's go inside and take a look at all these different energy systems and how they function together. Today we're going to be talking about all the forms of energy that we capture and utilize on this site. Those four forms of energy are solar PV, so we collect electricity on the roof with solar photovoltaic panels and supply our electricity requirements inside from them. Solar thermal, we harvest and collect solar energy in the form of solar hot water and distribute that through the floor. Passive solar gain, the southern surface of the passive solar greenhouse harvests sun and we grow plants and collect heat that way. Number four, earth tubes. Any uh, make up air that we require in the greenhouse comes through an earth tube system so air is drawn underground through a tube it picks up heat or cool cold uh, and then it's delivered into the greenhouse and then five is not so much an energy supply but an energy storage which ends up being supply later in the year which is our annualized geosolar system I'm standing on top of the passive solar greenhouse here at the groundswell campus and what's really unique about this building and all of the components is that everything here is designed with harvesting in mind. So I'm standing on a roof that harvests rainwater. I'm leaning on photovoltaic panels that produce electricity from the sun. And just in front of me, we have polycarbonate glazing, which is triple glazed, which passively absorb sun for the purpose of growing plants and harvesting heat to keep the space warm. Most present day buildings that we design in the Western world do not take this harvesting mentality into account and thus we are constantly having to add additional energy sources into everything that we do. So we're pretty stoked about the fact that this campus runs on solar electricity on the other end of the greenhouse, we've got solar thermal being harvested and collected through um, a glycol medium and passive sun through the southern glazing surface. The most interesting system I find at the Groundswell Passive Solar Greenhouse is the annualized geosolar system. So the word annualized geosolar, uh, if you break that word apart, basically what it's saying is that we're harvesting solar energy inside of the greenhouse and we're storing it in the ground, which is where the geo comes from, and we're doing it on an annualized basis. So it's a form of annual energy storage. The greenhouse itself has, um, this is a cross-sectional view of the greenhouse, has a pipe that runs, or a, a duct that runs right up on the peak of the greenhouse. And when the temperature gets to a certain point inside the greenhouse, above about 26, 27 degrees Celsius, a fan will turn on and it will suck that hot air down through a manifold and then distribute it through a series of pipes underground with an insulative cap over top of it. So we're taking warm air we're pushing it into ground that's cooler than the air up here. We're warming the ground up and the insulation layer is delaying the release of heat by about six months. The net effect of this is that the greenhouse, this particular greenhouse does not go below zero in the winter, which is quite an outstanding feat given that it gets as low as minus 25 here in the valley. So all winter long, this stored energy that we've accumulated in the ground releases back into the space and allows us to stay above zero without the addition of any um, electrical heat or natural gas heat or propane heat. 